So the first thing we're going to do in setting up the tower is to raise the light heads from their stowed vertical position to horizontal along uh, in line with the mast. So in order to do that, you just take out this one pop pin and then lift the entire light head assembly up and let the other pop pin click in. The next step, once you've got the light head assembly in line with the mast, is to just adjust your light heads however you would want them. So if you want them to be pointing downwards, upwards, left or right from the uh, from center, do that adjustment now before you lift the lights up completely. We're going to just set this up to be aiming slightly down and to the sides as well. All the light heads will move easily and stay in place with the locking nuts. And the next step is to deploy the outriggers so that the beacon LED tower is completely stable. There are four different outriggers to deploy, one at each corner, and it involves bringing the outriggers out to their extreme position and then jacking up the jacks. And with these four, you can actually set them at different levels if you're on uneven ground to make sure that the beacon LED tower is level. Bring it out to that extreme position and then go clockwise to deploy the jack. Now once you've deployed all the jacks, you're ready to start to lift the tower up. Now on these lay flat models, there's actually two stages that we need to winch up. The first will raise the mast from horizontal to vertical, and then the second will raise the mast vertically up. So the first one is to, is to raise the mast from horizontal to vertical. For that, we use the bottom of the two winches, and it's just a matter of simply winching it up. Now that you have the mast vertical, you want to insert the little safety pin to make sure that it stays that way in all conditions. With the safety pin in, now it's time to raise the mast vertically. So now we use that upper winch, the one that's actually attached to the mast, to raise it vertically. Make sure as you raise the winch that you stop when you see the stop sticker. Now that you have the mast raised and the lights in the right position, next step is to turn it on. At the front of the cabinet there's a weatherproof cover. Underneath there's an outlet and the switch to turn it on. Use whatever power source you want, whether it's your own supplied generator that fits in this cabinet or external power. You're ready to go with the Beacon LED tower. Now to stow the beacon LED tower, it's as simple as reversing the steps we've just gone through. With a couple of little points. One, once you've brought the mast down from its vertical position to as far as it will come down, you want to lay it flat. Now it's got a natural lean on it so the lights will start to lay flat on its own, but you just want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Take the bottom winch, go backwards twice, and if the mast hasn't leaned forward on its own, you can just give it a little push. It'll move into that position and now there's tension on the cable so that as you continue to wind it down, the mast comes to flat. And then the only other thing you want to think about is as it comes down, make sure that the pin gets inserted here into the mast. That pin actually penetrates through all three mast pieces and ensures that the mast cannot slide out during transport. When transporting the Beacon LED tower, you can take it anywhere. At only 300 pounds, a single person can move it around a job site. 
and we've even made it narrow enough to fit through man doors. There's one trick. You do have to move the light heads to a perpendicular position so they fit in line with the rest of the chassis. Once you've done that, simple push. We'll take it through a man door. 